All right, Chris. Now, we know that all the cats that have the gift of the gab with the swag between the white lines usually secure the bag, but it's more than that. I think these guys that are playing in the Super Bowl this year, in any year, they want to become legendary. And a lot of times, the people who can talk a little noise in front of the camera kind of help their uh, chances. So with this little list, I want to talk about the guys who I expect to hear from the most throughout the Super Bowl, whether it's media day, during the game, or post game. And now at number three, I'm going with my man, George Kittle, because we already know he wants to be a professional wrestler. I don't really expect him to say too much during media day, but I'm telling you, dog, this dude mic'd up during the game and post game, especially if they win, is gonna be media gold. And I know he's gonna be geeked up for this Super Bowl, so I'm anxious to see what he's gonna give me this week. Now at number two, I'm going with Tyreek Hill because anybody that has the gall to talk noise with the sassiest cornerback in the league, that's Jalen Ramsey, then you know he's not gonna be scared to talk on Super Bowl week. And Tyreek Hill has the game to back it up and I think, you know, I'm not sure if he wants to poke the bear too much with Richard Sherman, but I'm pretty sure he's going to let it be known that nobody can cover him. And then if he goes out there and balls out on Sunday, oh, he's going to let people have it post game. And now at number one, I'm going with Frank Clark because basically everyone's trying to emulate Sherman. And I feel like Frank Clark had his Sherman moment before and post game with this last game because he told folks that Derrick Henry wasn't going to be able to do anything on them. He didn't, and then he doubled down on that by saying that the Chiefs are gonna be the best defense in the Super Bowl. They're the best defense in the league, and can't nobody stop them. And so you don't really say that going to the Super Bowl? So if he can do that and then live up to that standard, man, he's already been paid. He's gonna be a Super Bowl champion. The only thing next is just to continue to stack on that and become legendary. Well, okay, so I like I like your list. Those mm -hmm. guys made my long list, most of them, okay? I'm going to disagree with you on Tyree Kill. I mean, first off, I just don't think he's going to be talking that much. You know, do, 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 this just in, he had some off-the-field problems last year, and I think what, he'll what shy away from talking. What's that have to do with that? Because they're going to be asking him about it. And then, you know, your other one, I want to say almost the same thing with Frank Clark. He made my long list, too. I'm there because I know he talks and does everything like that. Uh, I just think there's better ones out there. Okay, so listen, I got the answer key here. Just pay attention. Take right. notes, all right? T Sizzle. Okay, you T Sizzle's my number three. I mean, you just you know if your nickname's T Sizzle, you're gonna make some sizzle during some Super Bowl week. First of all, he's kind of got like that Godfather presence, right? Just yeah, like he, I'm he, the yeah, biggest. He's about baddest. as old as the Godfather too. Yeah, right. He's the biggest, baddest, toughest guy in the locker room and the old wise one, too. So I'm going T-Sizzle, mm -hmm. all right? And he's brought an attitude to that Chiefs defense. My number two, I got to go with Richard Sherman. I got to go with Richard Sherman. His number. I mean, Richard Sherman, yeah. a week of the mic in front of his face. Yeah. I mean, he can't help himself. Yeah. It's going to either be football, world issues, you know, talking crap about agents. Do you think I he's going to talk – is he going to talk noise about Revis during Super Bowl week, though, and use the platform definitely, for that? Definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. He is Richard Sherman. We can guarantee that he is going to have at least two days of dominating the microphone. All right? He's going to just talk and about then, something. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's going to talk about himself or how the league's messed up or the world's messed up. Something. Or somebody's cheated him and he feels disrespected. That's coming. I can guarantee that. And then my number one is a guy that you had on your list. It is George Kittle. Yeah. I feel like Kittle is like, he's Gronk 2.0. Mm -hmm. And for that, like, you know, average football fan who's not tuned in like maybe psychos like you and me are on a weekly basis, I think they're going to get a real kick out about yeah. learning from George Kittle. He's a psycho, a yeah. psycho in a good way. And I just think people are going to love to hear that. His sound bites, his energy. Plus, like you said, if he gets mic'd up for the game, forget it. That'll be NFL Films gold forever. He just never like shies away from any moment. So I got to go with Kittle as my number one guy. And the one thing I think we're both hitting on too is like also dudes who talk with that play because I think the best sound bite that I got from Kittle this year wasn't anything that came out of his mouth. It's when he stiff-armed the whole damn New Orleans Saints defense <laughs> on that game, <laughs> right. taking them down to get in the field goal range. And so combined with getting in front of the camera and talking that noise, I want to see Cass who's going to ball out between those white lines. And I feel like Kittle, Frank Clark, Tyreek Hill, Sherman, all those guys are primed to go out Show us what they can do. They're some of the best players in the league, and if they can do that, combined with getting that perfect sound bite, then dog, like I said, legendary is only the next Superstar. step. Superstar. Right? Right.